<laughs> New, I like it. Yeah. Welcome to our eighth episode of Apex Instant Tips, coming to you live every Friday at 12.05 EST for five minutes only from Massachusetts. My name is Hayden. And I'm Anton. And Hayden, what do you think of my new uh, swag? Um, I am glad to see we're getting some corporate sponsorship. Absolutely. So um, if for both of you that have seen our show in the past, uh, you may remember that we uh, put a little plug in for my friend's uh, brewery. And don't you know, I ended up with a sweat a hoodie out of it um but hayden as you mentioned five minutes only i've already taken up some of your time so i apologize you're gonna have to go quickly today what is our topic uh nice try anton um uh, you're on the hook this week i hope you have something prepared oh my jesus i was supposed to i was supposed to prepare for this uh well i happen to have something up on my screen that i'm working on anyway why don't we just run with what i've got let's do it Okay. Um, so I guess um, I'll kick off the timer right now. Um, there we go. And 4.59. So Hayden, I start with the question of, if you're looking for something, how do you find it? I Google it. Ah, of course, you go to Google. But what if it's not Google? What if it's like in your mailbox that you're looking in your mail? I would go, I would search for it. Search for it. Okay. What about on your, like on your laptop? You're looking for a file or something. As an Apple user, I use the Spotlight search. So you're not drilling down into files. You're not, oh, what about a screen like this? Let's say that you knew that I was selling selling a, a computer and you wanted to find it. Well, I might go to the uh, the search bar in the top uh, left-hand corner of your screen and type your name in. So there's all these other options. I love fasted search. You would skip right past the fasted search. You'd go ahead and just put my name in there. Well, let's, let's give it a try. Well, what happened here? Going, oh, look at that. And it proves that Vincent was actually wrong. You didn't use your name this week. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it turns out nobody can spell my name correctly, not even me. <laughs> well, let's see if I put my name in correctly. What do I got? There it is. Okay, but that's the problem with this exactly. Well, for take note, this is how you actually spell his name. <laughs> that's right. This is how you spell my name. Um, but if we get it wrong, what are we to do about this? Any, any recommendations here? Well, I know that it's possible to um, uh, leverage Oracle text as part of your research. I love Oracle text. Oracle text is huge. And we could do um, many, we, well, we could not possibly cover Oracle text in an Apex Instant Tip, but it just so happens that I have an Oracle text index on this table. So perfect, let's, let's go ahead and let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and enable Oracle text. So on the fasted search, it's beautiful. You can change from a row search to an Oracle text search. And all you have to do is put in the database column name that has the index against it. Um, you can do multiple columns. You can do incredible stuff with Oracle text. Like I said, I'm not going to go to that, but boom, we've got our Oracle text on the index on there. Let's go ahead and click go and see what happens. Not so useful. Not going to work. Um, what do we do now? What, so this is not. Well, I do know a little bit about Oracle text. Um, uh, I know that you can, uh, you could, for example, uh, use fuzzy and, and put uh, your name in uh, parentheses. There we go, problem solved. All I am going to do now is put a bunch of documentation on the page, telling people how to use Oracle text, all the different operators, the content cats and all that, and I'm done. Yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> that is not useful at all. <laughs> this is this is just not going to work for me. Uh, but there is a solution, and I'm really interested to find out if anybody on this call has done this before. I it has become my go-to. So if you have done this, or if you haven't done it, let me know. I'm going to go to Edit Application Properties, and I'm going to go right down here to Oracle Text Function. I've already built this Oracle Text Function. It is almost identical to what is in the Help. So just click on the Help and you'll be able to get the same Oracle text that I'm doing here with a very minor change that we might get to. Um, boom, so I've put this Oracle text in here. I'll come back here. It already relaxes this and it takes care of my fuzzy. So now when I do it, I get the results I'm looking for. So right. what we have is a beautiful Oracle text um, uh, set of operators that are being applied for my end user. 
Excellent. Is perfect for me because even I can't spell my own last name. I love it. Now, this is um, this was uh, an easy and, and quick uh, tip, but if I wanted to uh, look up how to do this, uh, can you recommend a source for where we could um, do this ourselves? Meaning um, building out uh, uh, text indexes and, and, and all of that? Yeah, is there any reference material that we can direct people to? Yes, well, uh, I should have already published a blog and I'm sure that this is what you're needling me about. I have it started. It's like I've got about a four pages of blog post already in a, a document, but I just didn't get it finished before this. So um, thanks for the, the little poke there, Hayden. Uh, it'll come back around to you, I'm sure. I, I feel like you always have a blog that's almost <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I used to be so much better about it, but you know what? I'm going to stop it here because we have 18 seconds left and I'm going to call it a win. There's more that I want to say about it. Maybe somebody will ask a question, but I'm going to stop our timer so that it doesn't uh, actually ring and we'll call this a win. Um, like I said, I'm really interested to find out if people uh, have used this feature. Um, so, um, uh, that said, um, so, I have a few minutes to stick around. Yeah, um, I, I look forward to taking some audience questions and uh, we're gonna have some time for wisdom of the week. And uh, if anyone has any, uh, uh, if anyone wants to smash that bell or call their congressman or otherwise subscribe, uh, you are um, uh, uh, encouraged to do so. Uh, the answer on to, uh, answer to uh, Jorge's question right there is yes. Um, uh, Anton will have a blog out soon. Yes, it's coming up. It is very, very soon. It will be within a week. Uh, oh, uh, for sure. Uh, some high praise from Gina there. Ah. And uh, uh, I actually don't have a, a, a rating uh, for this. Um, it felt uh, I didn't have one prepared, but I do have a wisdom of the week. So um, mm -hmm. I am uh, holding my end of this bargain a little bit. So uh, if we go to the next uh, card, there we go. So uh, when your one year old stack overflow answer helps you one year after. So the, the humor of this um, uh, post. Uh, uh, it is so, yes. And, and, and to me, there, there are probably many levels that one can read into that. But to me, it means um, uh, when you participate in the community and you answer stack overflow questions or you give a talk or you write a blog post, sure, you may help other people. But even if you don't, you're probably helping at least yourself. Uh, because it'll be there as a record of your wisdom for you to refer back to. Right. And I take it as another little needle that the blog post should uh, get published very rapidly because um, I am classically forgetting the work that I've already done and having to look it back up either on my own blog post or dig through something. So um, having it as a blog post will be very helpful. Um, I, I actually, um, somebody asked if I could publish the function in the comments. Oh, I also see this Elasticsearch, but um, hi, right, here we go. Could you please publish the function? The function is right in the help. Um, the only change that I made, and uh, I think it's an interesting change, is that I actually want to use the function slightly differently on different pages within my application. So I wrappered the return value um, in, you know, if the app page ID is eight, I want to return one set one um, set of information. If the return the page is a different page, I want to return something different. So you can you can tweak that um, that function based upon what page you're you're on. Um, I I don't know if that's helpful for anybody else, but um, uh, so have you done integration with Elasticsearch for similar purposes? I have not. Have you, Hayden? Uh, no, actually, I'm not familiar with Elasticsearch. Yes, I'm only familiar in name. I haven't I haven't used Elasticsearch, so um, unfortunately, I don't I don't have an answer on that one. But uh, it, um, it's um certainly worth researching. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do another instant tip on on that. Um, so uh, uh, well, so if there's no other questions, I think we have absolutely made this within our window. We're at uh, nine minutes. I think this may be our fastest instant tip yet. And uh, as Gino said, uh, it was a very, very good one. So um, I, I hope that people found value in this. Great. Well, as you mentioned earlier, don't forget to 
call your congressman, write a letter to your friends suggesting that they uh, that they will tune in. Um, and, you know, we get enough subscribers. I'm still telling you, my daughter's going to make fun of me again. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks, everyone. Both Thank of you. you. See you next Friday.